Was Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4 the best Fortnite season of all time? Here we are at the final season of, a, at the almost at the end of the final season on the chapter five map, and this season, in my opinion, was an absolute banger. I'm going to be talking about the season, everything that's happened in this season, and then at the end of it, I'll be explaining it. But I think this was the best Fortnite season ever. So let's get into it. So, season four starts off. Doom has taken over the map. Absolute doom. You've got Doomstat, the raft, Doom's castle. Doom's courtyard. Doom is just in full takeover over the Fallout Island. Okay, you've got bosses like Emma Frost, you've got Mysterio boss, you've got Doom bot boss, Doom henchmen are everywhere, you've got items like Captain America's shield, you've got War Machines, Jetpack, Arsenal and Turret, you've got Doctor Doom's gauntlets, the return of some old weapons like the Striker Burst Rifle in a new form, the um, new shotgun, which I can't pronounce the name, so I'm not going to pronounce it, because I can't really pronounce it, unfortunately. Um, and just a bunch of, like, different Marvel items. Just an insane stuff. Battle Pass, you've got some really bad skins in there. I think this Battle Pass, just amazing job. Really good Battle Pass, I have to say. Really good Battle Pass. Solid. Okay? And then, the, you know, just, the, I, everything just it launched for the season was amazing. Then we go into the first update. The Doom update. Isle of Doom spawns in. There's now a chance, 5% chance that you can become Doom and a Doom Isle will spawn in, giving you the power to become a Doom bot and possess the powers of Doom. On top of that, you've also got um, Shuri's claws added to the game and the release of the Doom secret skin and all the unlocks. Banger first update, by the way. As an insane first update. Then it comes to the second update of the season. The Day of Doom, the return of the end game mode in a new form, Day of Doom. You've got Doom's team and henchmen versus the Avengers. Very, very good LTM. I think a very good new spin on it and take on the original LTM. Um, and then the massive Iron Man update. You've got Iron Man and War Machine, um, like little transport areas that can spawn the map, give you either War Machine stuff or Iron Man stuff. Iron Man is now on the map, back on the island to help us in the fight against Doom, and he's bringing with him like Iron Man's combat kit, Iron Man's flight kit, and loads of Iron Man themed items, even the Rift Beacons, which will help us out later in the season, which we'll get into later. Just insane update, honestly. Just an insane update. We're off to a good start so far. Then we have the third update, which is a little bit smaller update, and this adds in the files for two live events. One that's just around the corner, and one that we are almost approaching at, and actually all less than 24 hours away at the time of recording this video. Now, the mini event, the first mini event, the countdown is in game and the countdown is counting down to the fight against Doom. What a live event this was. Having the storyline build up this whole season and also this almost honestly pretty much this whole chapter revolve around Pandora's box, all this evolution to get to this very point of fighting Doom. We start off, we try and destroy his tower with the rift beacons, it doesn't work. Doom fights back, throwing those like dust at us, making it all fall over. And then, cuts to cinematic, emerging from the smoke is Doctor Doom in his titan form, Pandora's armor, marching right towards us, annihilating any player that gets in his way with ease, barely even trying, even literally stepping on a fish stick, like, Doom, Doom ain't playing, he ain't messing around, he is here, and he wants what he wants, and he's not gonna let anyone get in his way, he's annihilating people, Jones does one of the dumbest things ever by throwing his shield at him, almost gets completely eliminated, but Hope steps in and saves Jones, W Hope, um, and then Hope proceeds to smash Doom in the eye um, and with um, the shield that has Pandora's power, so that hurt Doom a little bit. He drops Hope and look like it looks like she falls in, like to the ground, but I'm pretty sure um, War Machine saves her. Um, and then it cuts to them all charging at Doom, 
and then the boss battle. We have a giant doom boss in the center lake that you can fight over multiple matches, and we end up, we defeat Doom. Doom is defeated, he gets rifted back to reality 616, and Doom is gone. But, that is not over. The aftermath of the event, Doom sent rift beacons flying everywhere, and those rift beacons are completely linked to Fortnite Mess 2024. Fortnite Mess 2024 is here, as a result of the rift beacons, got pumpkin biomes, areas taken over the map, Mephisto has come to the island and made the underworld area his domain by completely changing the colour of the river sticks to red. Hades is gone, he's old news, Mephisto is here and he's here to stay. You got things like the chainsaw, added to the game a new item, the boom billy item, which is insane. The return of like the witch broom and the pumpkin launch and the wood stake shotgun. You got bosses on the map, NPCs, the return of horde rush. This is probably the biggest Fortnite event we will ever see, one of the best Fortnite events we've ever seen. So absolute W for Fortnite. Then we have the fifth update. The update that adds in the event files for the finale event. The event at the end of the season will be going down at Risky Reels, introducing Remix Preload. I think I said that right. I don't think I know. I don't know if I do. I do apologize if I said that wrong. This event will be going down on November 1st at 6.30pm Eastern, 10.30pm UK time. I will be live streaming the event right here on the YouTube channel. This event will be taking us right from this season into Remix. I personally think this has been an absolutely insane season, and I think, in my opinion, this is the greatest season of Fortnite. I will see you tomorrow in my live stream for the live event. Please like, share and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.